Hey guys, IC3 here, back with another video, and today we're going to be filming uh, part 6 of our how to make your own Roblox script executor video. Um, and today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our key system. I hope everyone's having an amazing day, and uh, I'm on a pretty quick time schedule, so let's just get straight into this. First thing we're going to do, open up Visual Studio Code, wait for that to load, and then in the meantime, you guys want to open up your uh, web browser, so just go bring over a new tab and open it up. All right, first thing we're going to do, guys, open up our project, which is Chill Executor. Open that up, wait for it. And then here, we're going to just go here. And here, we're going to type in neon.tech. We're going to open this. And on neon.tech, guys, you guys want to go here. It's probably going to bring you guys up with like a sign up, telling you to sign up and stuff. Go ahead, sign up, and make sure that you guys can get to this page, you know? So when it lets you, you guys can get to this page, so type in like neon.tech in the browser and uh, go here sign up and then get to this page which is uh, just neon.tech now we're going to open a new tab go to github.com and then we are going to just wait here and here we're going to go sign up you guys if you haven't signed up all that here we're going to click create new new repository and we're going to call it whatever our repository is so for this it's going to be chill executor we're just going to call it um the server which is going to be the server that's going to handle our login and key system we're just going to write server chill and then here we're just going to make it private and we're just going to click create repository then we're going to go here and we're going to type in railway.com here we're going to sign up to this you guys want to sign up this is all going to be for your server hosting and stuff so we're going to sign up and here you guys, once you guys signed up, we're just going to go to our dashboard. All right, we're just going to actually go here, click deploy a new project, and we're just going to wait here. All right, so guys, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating a server. So basically when we log in, go to our login, uh, we basically create a server. So here's you guys trying to log in and here's the executor you guys want to get to and to get here. First, we're going to check if it's working. So this is going to be the computer that checks if it's working, blah, blah, blah. If the executor's up, blah, blah, blah. If it's up, if it's not working, we're going to, you know, not let you go in. If it's working, we're going to go here. We're going to now kind of take you to the big server, which is for login. And we're going to make you log in here with uh, your login and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And that will be for your login. And then if you do it right, you go here. If you do it wrong, uh, you just retry. So like that. If you do it wrong, you retry. Um, and that's how we're going to do it, right? So what we need to do, we already coded this server in the last time, which was the pastebin server. So now we need to code this server. And we're going to do that using a Discord bot. So like here, let me open up my uh, Discord. And uh, we're going to go to here. And like I'll show you guys in the part, uh, in the uh, last part, how we did it. So what we guys actually want to do here, we're just going to go scroll to the bottom. New one. And we're just going to call it whatever we want. And it's going to be our managing server. So we're going to just delete that. Delete that. And this is going to be for this. And we're just going to create a logs. And here we're going to go edit channel. Permit uh, integ integrations. Uh, create webhook. And then we're going to go here. And just going to just keep it like this. Then um, you guys want to go back to. Give me a second. Three hours later. Hey guys, I'm back. And in another tab we want to get to, guys, is go to discord.com slash developers. So you actually want to go here, discord.com slash developers. And here, guys, what we're going to do is create a new application. Here, we're going to write um, just the boss. Our boss is going to be chillbot. And we're just going to confirm if we're a human. Then we're going to go to bot, and here we should have a bot, and you guys can set your own image, so I'm actually going to go set an image real quick. And, uh, yeah, and then we're going to go down here and select all these three, so these intents, and then we're just going to click save changes. Alright guys, now, for now, um, all these links will be left in the description, by the way, so it's just going to be in a links server. But now we need to write the code for this, and obviously I know some of you guys don't want to be writing, you know, thousands of lines of code, so here we're just going to, um... What's it called? We're just going to do, uh, I'm going to give you guys actually all the code. So it'll be in our Discord server. So just go to the Discord server, go to the download channel, and it should be there. But the first thing we're going to do, guys, when we're here, we're just going to click create new file. And at the top here, we're going to name it package.json, J-S-O-N. And then here we're going to enter file contents. And this will be in our Discord server, but 
we're just gonna go here and uh, control V and paste this then here uh, we're gonna go commit changes and click commit then here once we're here we can just gonna click add file create new file and now this is where we're gonna get uh, you know have to do a little more stuff so here we're just gonna paste all this right which I was gonna make you guys write but we're not actually and here you guys want to name this at the top index.js give it a second all right and it's gonna change all our code up all right guys I did put some uh, I did ask AI to put some of these uh, little tags for you guys so you guys can see here we're gonna replace it with our discord bot token so if we go to developer portal reset token and we copy this uh, we're just gonna go here paste in the token and then here we're gonna go to webhook URL we're gonna go to our discord server logs integrations go here and copy that URL so I'm just gonna name this chill bot put in our image and we're just gonna copy this webhook URL and then here we're gonna put that URL here and then for our database I'll actually show you guys what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do guys is here on the neon console click new project and it should automatically fill this out but we're gonna set this Postgres version to 17 AWS will be our cloud service provider and just set it to the region closest to you, which is Ohio for me. Then we're just going to click create project. All right. Here, guys, it's going to give you this. Um, obviously, it's going to be for our database. What you guys want to go is select Node.js. Uh, not Node.js. You guys want to select Postgres uh, and just click copy and then go uh, to your, where were we? We're going to go here. And here in database URL, we're just going to paste that. And uh, make sure you guys don't share this. This is literally to your database. Don't share any of these stuff, guys. Make sure it's all private. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go all the way to the bottom here and we're going to go and uh, have, where is it at? We're going to go here, scroll, 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 and we're going to find, um, right here, we're going to go here and find this. So in here, it's going to show registering slash commands. We're obviously going to use the slash commands and here we need to put in our discord uh, bot ID. So go to your developer portal, general information and copy your application ID, go back here and just paste it and scroll a bit down and we're going to find const required uh, role id go here and we're actually going to create the role now so let's go create this buyer role buyer just going to make it golden uh, display from other users and just save and then we're going to go here right click copy role id and then we're going to go back to our code and just paste that there and um, from now on uh, yeah that's all we just need to do uh, and we should be good now and then we're just gonna click commit changes commit all right now that we've uh, gone here actually and created this we should be good and uh, I'll show you guys what we need to do but right now we're gonna go to dashboard actually now we're gonna go to branches main branch uh, roles and databases and we're just gonna click edit data and this is gonna show us all our data and stuff for our thing so we're gonna be able to see the passwords all that and stuff and uh and the discord id they registered and their usernames all right and then here we're just gonna go to railway deploy from github re repo and we're just gonna select server chill the one we named it and we're gonna give it a second all right and then you guys should see after a while it is gonna start uh doing this build you know if we click view logs it's gonna start building the thing and then this is just guys gonna be your server room basically this is your server room railway it's gonna be who's hosting our server and then this is gonna be your basically your code editor where we can change the code for our server and this is gonna be your database manager right here in the tables all right and then um, we should be good now and as you can see guys it ran it ran the server here slash commands got registered and we're logged in as chillbot all right now that for that we can close this and here Right here guys we're gonna actually double click this once click settings and we're gonna scroll down till we find right here networking and we're gonna click generate domain so we can actually have a domain to like use for our project and here we're gonna get server chill production railway app and we're just gonna click the copy button right here and we're gonna actually we're gonna hold keep this tab open and just leave it like that so for now we can just close our discord developer tab our server chill tab and we'll keep our neon one open now we're going to go to Visual Studio Code, and um, I'm just going to close it here, but make sure you guys go to Visual Studio Code, and we're going to start coding up our login. So we're going to go to Chill Executor, uh, code up our login, and uh, let's get started with that. Alright, 
and then uh so here guys you guys are gonna see uh don't worry that i have an extra form here don't worry about this so just give me a second all right here guys in your design you're gonna see all this um and now we're gonna start to you know need to code our thing first thing we can do is on our side to our solution explorer we're gonna go here right click and we're gonna find uh actually no we're not gonna right click here we're gonna click our chill executor here right click and click add and then we're going to select a form or windows form and then here we're just going to leave it like this and we'll click add all right now we have our windows form for our login so first thing i'm going to do guys is make this borderless and stuff so i'm going to go to toolbox uh, type in borderless or border and that's going to bring up my bad, that's going to bring up hold up okay that's going to bring up here border it's going to bring up the gunna thing and we're just going to take this and drag it there all right, now that we've done that, I'm just going to go here and resize this to my nice size. So I actually like it. Let's see what it is. I like it to be like here 300 by 250 like that. That's nice. And then I'm going to go start um, actually changing up the background. So I'm going to go. We obviously have here our back color right here. So I'm going to go to my original form uh, and get the back color from here just so they're matching. I'm going to put it here. So we're going to go to back color and just paste it there. And then we're going to go to toolbox and add text box. Actually, no, we don't want to do that yet. What we want to do, guys, is go to form one. Uh, my bad, what am I doing? We're going to click this, copy this, and then go to form two. And we're just going to paste that there and put it in the top corner or wherever you guys want it. It's going to be our X out button, you know, if they accidentally, if they're just closing it. And then here, guys, on our form, we actually want to change some stuff. So here we're going to actually select the gunna to borderless form. I'm going to make mine animated. And I'm going to make it so you can't dock it. Uh, I can make it so you drag it. Resize form, you cannot resize it. And also guys, go to your original one here at form 1. Click gunna to borderless form and make sure resize form is turned off. Alright, and then um, now I'm just going to get into this. So here, double click this and just write in this.close. You guys can press Control shift s on that and then here we're going to start adding the text boxes so we're just going to type in text box gonna to text box and just put that there and then i'm going to resize to how i like it so i actually want mine to be like right there i'm going to Control c and Control v that put this one right there and i'm going to go get a button from gonna two buttons so just got gonna two button i'm going to put that there i'm going to make this like right there. Uh, I like going like right there. I'm actually gonna bring these a bit down. So, all right. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna go select this one. I'm just gonna change it up. So I'm gonna make the background color of this button. Uh, I'm gonna make the fill color just to be this one. What I had it as before, which was uh, give me a second which was this, I'm just gonna copy this, paste here in the fill color, which is right here, All right? It's four color, my bad, uh, I'm looking for fill color. Where's fill color, it's all the way up here. That's back color, oh my gosh, where's fill color? Right here, and I'm just gonna put in that. And as you can see guys, it's gonna actually match with it, so I'm just gonna click this, find the fill color, I'm gonna set it to a little darker, so I'm just gonna write like 70 at the end. And you can see, guys, it sticks out a bit. Actually, I'm going to make it uh, stick out a bit a little more. So I'm going to write, like, maybe 90. All right, and then you can see I have as that. Then I'm going to click here, change this to uh, login. And then um, here I'm going to click here. And I'm going to make, uh, this is going to be this. This is going to be our text box where we enter. So this is going to be for our username and then our uh, password. So for the username one, which is this top one, I'm going to basically go to the bottom find placeholder right here placeholder text i'm gonna set this to username and here i'm gonna find here and i'm just gonna set the placeholder text to password and then obviously we can change this i'm just gonna make it a little darker to like 180 uh actually 130 here i'm just gonna select what i want the placeholder color to be i'm gonna make it like maybe black and then i'm just gonna go here set the placeholder card to black and since this is going to be our password, um, we don't want like other users seeing like what they're entering. We're just going to go here for our password char and enter a star icon. So when we type in it, it becomes a star. All right, then I'm going to just right click here, properties, 
and change the text to login chill login all right guys uh that was actually me uh actually cut the video um, down by around i think like an hour because that so that's just where we're gonna fall off you know and that's gonna be our like point and then in the next part i'll actually uh warm code and stuff because it is pretty long and i did actually make a video on the key system but i made like a bunch of errors and stuff so i just scrapped it and uh just leave where you, the project where you guys are right now so just save press control shift s save everything save uh, all those tabs make sure you know what they are and then in the next part i'll uh, get to adding the key system uh, and we'll actually read the internals of the code so yeah but that's just going to conclude the video uh, this whole key system thingy is taking me like three hours you know every day to you know perfect and make sure it's all uh, you know encrypted and safe the data storage is working and stuff all that for uh, your railway app and all that so please just you know go down there subscribe please you know this video took me so long to make you know even though it's only like 10 minutes i uh, sat here recording for an hour so uh yeah hope you guys uh enjoyed and i'll uh, see you guys in the next part